Muchas gracias. Hi everyone, I have a really fun video for you guys today. As you can tell, I did a Selena inspired makeup tutorial and little hair tutorial too. And this is in honor of the MAC and Selena collaboration. I was able to get two of the lipsticks from the collection. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the other one, which is the matte one, the like matte deep burgundy one. But I did get Como La Flor, which is the one that I'm wearing today. It's the really pretty bright red satiny color. And then I also got Amor Prohibido, and this is a neutral color. Um, I have a swatch on here already, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch it again for you guys. These colors are super pretty. I really like this one. Um, this is definitely a color Selena wore a lot. And then I am wearing Como La Flor, which is a really pretty red, like, satin finish. It has, like, a shimmer to it. So you can see that wasn't really that great, but you guys can see the color. It's super pretty. I really like this color. Super excited that they did this collection. It's been a long time coming. I love Selena. I love just seeing her pictures of her red lip and her hair. I wanted to do this one because I feel like this hairstyle is just super fun and easy to do. And she just always had that very voluminous, curly, beautiful hair. She did the wing liner and the red lip and she just kept everything else simple because she didn't have to do much and I just really like that so I hope you guys like this video um, little side note is excuse my voice as you can tell I am a little raspy I don't know I think I'm coming down with a little something but hopefully it doesn't bug you guys too much Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video or thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and for more tutorials. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, so to get started, we're going to start with face. I always like to start with my foundation and everything first. Um, I, I actually went with the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation just because I wanted like a matte finish. And then I concealed. I just concealed normally. I didn't do or I didn't do anything super, super light like I normally do. Like I didn't do highlight. I used my Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I'm in the color Light. So this is fairly close to my skin. It's not anything too bright. So, and now, so we're going to go ahead and set all that. And we're not going to bake today. We're not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to use setting powder. So I'm going to use my contour kit, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're not baking or doing highlighting just because Selena's makeup always looked very, like, natural. Like, her skin just looked natural. She didn't have anything too crazy. And, I mean, like, highlighting and all that wasn't, like, a thing back then. So I'm just going to set under the under eyes. We're going to start off with eyes after I like to let that um, foundation and everything just kind of settle in so it doesn't look like too powdery or anything since we just set with powder. Um, we're going to move on to the eyes and they kind of already are prepped with the concealer and the foundation. I always go over my eyelids with the beauty blender. Um, and since we are keeping shadows like pretty natural today, I'm not really going to add any, any extra base. I'm just going to go straight into my Tartlet palette. This is the first one, the all matte one, and we're going to stick mostly to like the brown and the like the brown lighter shades on the other side. I pick up the color here called Free Spirit and just a fluffy brush. This is my MAC 224 brush. I use this one all the time. I'm just going to use that, dust it all over the lid. I'm going to go into the color Force of Nature, which is this one right here, the one right next to the one we just used, Free Spirit. We're going to use Force of Nature. Same brush, and we're just going to put this into the crease. I'm going to go into the color Dreamer, which is this brown one right here. I'm going to take that. This is a, well, this is similar to a MAC um, 217 brush, but this one is from, I'm not really sure what this one is from. I got this in like a subscription, monthly subscription bag. But anyways, we're just going to focus this on the outer corner. I'm just going to go in again with the 224 brush, nothing on it, and just going to blend it out. For the lid, we're going to go ahead and go into this color here from the Tarte palette. This color is called Super Mom. And I'm just going to pack that onto a flat shader brush. And we're just going to focus this on the eyelid, the center eyelid. 
we're not dragging it all the way out here because we still want that brown. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and apply that same color Force of Nature. And I'm just using a small little smudge brush. This is the Sigma E21 brush. And I'm just going to pick up some of that product and I'm just going to dust it on the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a wing liner. Um, Selena did wear a wing liner. She didn't do anything. I mean, it wasn't an intense wing liner or anything like that. So I'm just going to do a small little wing liner. I'm going to be using the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. This is the black one. And I'm going to be using a MAC 210 brush, the really small, fine-pointed one. We are going to use um, liner on the lower lash line. I'm using the ColourPop Cosmetics. This is their cream gel liner in black. Or, well, this one's called Swerve, but it's their black one. Now we're just going to curl our lashes and add some mascara. We are going to apply false lashes. Selena never really had any like crazy dramatic lashes. So I'm just going to go with these ones from Coco Lashes in Mila. They're a little, they're pretty natural when you put them on. They don't really, they're not like super like dramatic or anything. So I'm going to try these out. That's pretty much it for eyes. So now we're going to go on to the skin. I am going to contour my cheekbones just a little bit, but... I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm going to take my MAC Hoola Bronzer and then this is a Sigma F This is a Sigma F04 Extreme Structure Contour Brush. Just going to swirl some of that on there and then I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones, but I'm just going to carve out mostly out here. I'm not really going to bring it down here. I'm going to just blend it out with a fluffy brush. This is just a Sephora like powder brush that I have. I love to use this one for my contour and for like bronzer. And then I do need to bronze up my skin a little bit because I, as you can see, I'm a little on the pale side right now. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Same brush and I'm just going to dust this all over my face mostly to like, this is just to bronze up my skin. I am going to contour my nose but I'm not going to contour it like I normally do to slim it down. Um, I'm going to kind of just go with my natural shape. I'm just going to contour out here and bring it to there. I'm going to bring it up into my eyebrow also. Now for blush, I'm going to go into my Z palette. I have um, my Makeup Geek blushes in here. And I think I'm going to use... Since she never really had, like, you couldn't really see any, like, pink tones or anything like that. I'm going to go with this one here. This one is Infatuation. And then I'm just going to focus this mostly out here. For lips now, which is probably the most important part of the look, Selena was mostly known for wearing that really beautiful red lip, that bold red lip. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that using Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Mary Jo K. So I'm going to line my lips with this. So now that I have my lips lined, I'm going to go into the Max Lena collection. I'm using Goma La Flor. This is the red lipstick, but this is the one that's um, not matte. This is amplified. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this mostly onto the center and then just spread it out. I haven't used the lipstick in like forever. And that is it for the makeup look. I'm going to go ahead now and do hair. So to start off for the hair, this is, I'm going to go ahead and just work with my um, curls that I have from yesterday. Well, I mean, there's not really much of a tight curl or anything like that, but my hair is just very like 
voluminous and everything from yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take, you're gonna take just that much of your hair. It's hard to see because my hair is so black. But I basically just grab my hands, go like this, and you're just gonna get this, mostly the crown part of your hair. And then you're gonna pull, I'll turn this way if that helps. You're gonna pull like the hair from underneath so that way it's not like all messy and like weird in the back. But see, you can see that line there. I mean, that's not really what you want, but just to see kind of the separation, how much hair that I got. And then you're just gonna like kind of fix the sides so that I pull them back so that way it's not gonna look all like weird. They kind of pop out like on the sides. But you do want it pretty smoothed out. I mean, not like crazy smooth or anything. I'm just smoothing it out enough to where I like it. I mean, you can do it however you like. But Selena did at times, she had it very slicked back. And then from here, now you're just gonna take your hair tie and tie that into a high ponytail. And then you're gonna pull just to bring it out and to bring some of that volume there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just bring a couple hairs out. I'm gonna go ahead and take a teasing comb and I'm just gonna tease the ponytail so it's super teased and big and even more voluminous. And then I'll probably tease like a little bit down here. But we are almost done with the look. I'm gonna go ahead and change and show you guys the finished look.